Hello, everybody. So, scratch that. Forget everything that I've said, because I don't want to tell a story. I want Sammy to tell this story. So, you know, I just want to make these videos about him and, you know, see what you think, because this is crazy. So, this is Sam. He is uh, just over a three and a half now. Actually, yeah, actually like exactly three and a half. And um, he is here sitting in a stroller. And so, you know, other, other kids at three and a half are pretty different. Normally developed kids. And I know there's a lot of kids that are not normally developed out there. Um, you know, so some people totally understand this situation. Um, and know, you know, how far behind actually, you know, at three and a half, uh, this is. I'm actually just really happy that he's making noises, those noises that he was just making, and he's giving himself something to drink right now. He's ho kind of holding that bottle up and he's drinking, and he's sucking out of a straw, and he's actually able to do that. And, uh, you know, so, um, most kids at three and a half are really much more developed. They have, um the ability to, you know, walk and crawl and talk and do a lot more than Sammy can do. And um, even though Sammy's doing great, for, and I'm not complaining, I just want, you know, you guys to see him as he is. And um, I wish I had like a bit of a better angle, um, but just take it in right now and see how he is and how he's like. Um, and think like, what do you think happened? You know, like, he's pretty far behind. Uh, he uses, you know, mostly his right hand, if you can tell, you know. He does move his left arm and hand, but all control or anything like that comes from the right side. But, you know, he does actually move his left arm and stuff he didn't before, so. And he's interested in the bottle, so this is good. You know, you want interest in things. He was totally checked out for a long time. Oh, Sam, what happened? He knows what, he dropped his bottle and it's down there. He can reach and stretch for it. That's really good. Come up. And he actually does have his hand. Here we go, that's a good angle. So he knows where it is. And he's playing with it. Got it. Wow, that was Awesome, Sammy. That was really good, actually. And, um, so yeah, something, something happened, you know? What do you think it is? CP? Um, what else? Uh, some sort of brain, uh, like a genetic thing? Um, Maybe he just is slow to develop, you know, some kids are slow. What is this, autism, you know, I don't know. Would anyone even think maybe would it be malnutrition? Seizures. Kids who have seizures definitely get, you know, developmental issues. Is it just a, a developmental issue? I mean, this is him. You know, and he just learned how to drink out of a straw. Which we are so excited about, huh, Sammy? It's so much easier so much easier to handle than trying to just get liquid down his throat. He could not swallow. Before, it was terrible. But, you know, a lot of special needs kids actually um, have a hard time eating and drinking. So, that's not unusual for special needs issues. And, uh, Not unusual for special needs to 
not have control over your mouth and tongue. But uh, what is unusual for special needs is to not be on a feeding tube, and Sammy is not on a feeding tube, which is amazing, and it took a lot of work and a lot of practice to get him to be able to drink and eat. And he can somewhat chew foods, but he's still learning, definitely. And he does feed himself. He actually takes his right hand and can grab food and put food in his mouth. So that is huge for special needs, because when you have the feeding tube, you know, they don't have any wants, they don't have any need to try to learn how to eat in a different way. The food just goes in and they're satisfied. But you also can't give them what you want to give them, and you can't give them highly nutritious foods. You're just kind of stuck with the food 